Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So for you, um, Leo, we have the message and we have the book. And so um, the message or letter uh, is something that's moving slowly, okay? Um, at a snail's pace, so to speak. Um, the letter uh, is some type of written communication. Um, it's typically a written communication that is personal and it has been well thought out. It has been sent with intention, possibly sent uh, to get a specific response. So, it could be that somebody here has sent a message and would be waiting for this response. They don't know. They're worried about it. Or they're worried about sending the actual message because it's coming with the news. All right? So, the book is closed here. And the book represents, uh, could represent a secret that is about to be revealed in this, in this letter, this message. Maybe somebody's thinking of revealing uh, something, uh, revealing their secret to someone, you know, and maybe they've been thinking about this and worrying about this for some time, or worried about how to do it, worried about what the response would be. But the book represents information that you don't have, but you would really, really like to have. So the book could also indicate that you're about to learn something. You don't have that information yet because it's closed. But there's specific information. We see a bookmark here. There's specific information uh, that you would like to have that you may be about to learn. Could be that. Or it could be uh, you're about to learn somebody's secret. All right. Or, I mean, this could go another way. You could be about to reveal a secret to someone, depending which way this energy is going. Could be yours. Your energy could be theirs. So, um, at the heart of this reading... Uh, along with the noose, which is the central issue. The central issue is worry. We have this community card, and this community card speaks to somebody that you would share a connection with, okay? Um, but you lost that person, um, or whoever's energy this is. They lost somebody, and now they wish to transform it. We see the butterflies here, but they don't really see a light at the end of this pathway yet okay because we we have the pathway now and we see that there's a light so this card can indicate that uh although you do not yet see the light it is there and that maybe patience is needed it could be that somebody is sitting back wondering uh about something and maybe they're maybe they're thinking if they don't force the matter that uh, eventually it, it, it'll get better or work itself out. And so maybe this is why they're holding back on this message. Maybe they're hoping it'll work itself out. What I see here is that... Hmm, there's been this person here possibly rebelled against something. We have the card of rebellion here. Um, this can be a card of somebody being stubborn and not budging. So maybe they're not budging, hoping things will get better. But this message is on their mind. So, but they may be, they could be tempted to send this message, but are not sending it because they're stubborn. And they're, and because, well, uh, maybe they won't have to, you know, maybe it'll work itself out, they're thinking, right? Um, there's something, 
there was some type of a disagreement with this uh, a duel that went on here some kind of standoff that's taken place somebody re rebelled threw up a wall um, so there's something here with this card of rebellion that somebody I feel is this person here uh, it's like they didn't want to play by it's yeah they didn't want to play by somebody else's rules so they felt maybe that somebody else was trying to uh, control how the wind blows and uh and so they rebelled and they threw up this wall and now they sit here and they worry and because time has gone by this is really slow moving energy and they want this person back there's a standoff nobody's budging somebody's very really stubborn or they're both very stubborn um, and so here we have a high priestess in between we have the jewel and on the other side is the high priestess again so I feel like I feel like somebody was afraid of the unknown and I feel like they still are the unrevealed future with these two high priestess and this book sitting here and this worry so somebody is really afraid of uh, of the unknown of the um, they have questions but they don't have answers to these questions and they're afraid of what those answers might be possibly but this person they have a victim's mindset okay they're really worried they're going to get their heart oh yeah look at that the next card they're worried they're going to get their heart broken um, this is possibly see oh yeah see they want to overcome the obstacles they want to have a discussion uh, they want to talk about this uh, but maybe maybe they don't want to be the first maybe it's it's that they take uh, like a wait and see type of attitude mentality um, hoping that the other person will come to them maybe and that it'll all work out uh, and that they'll get their way so to speak I feel like they want to get their way uh, this is how it all began so a very challenging situation with the boar sitting here um, they may have uh, felt very defensive back here they it's because they themselves were losing control and it kind of felt like the other person had the control and they had no more control and that made them panic because this person has been badly hurt before obviously because that's why they're so afraid of getting hurt you know that's why because they've been hurt before they felt this type of pain before and they didn't like it you know so um, they didn't want to get hurt again this is all about guarding themselves and being guarded this is guarding also but you know they they turned look so they turned down the offer they turned down the offer but then look at this here they still want the cup they still want to drink from that cup even though they've turned it down so they turned it down they're still in love with this person it's just that they want things to be their way because they're the emperor so they like to be they they like to have the control you know they want to be in control and so uh, they turned this down and now they're looking at the tombstone so they're looking at something that ended looking for any sign that they could bring it back to life because they're still very much interested in doing that <clears throat> and so you have already here one minute I'll be right back sorry about that I had to cough so um, you have already here 
this card of healing and you have another card of healing here so there is worry because all these cards connect so there's worry about healing uh, they may feel challenged by this the mushrooms are here uh, and so this is about uh, the root cause of something um, um, looking at the deeper uh, issue okay so taking a look at the deeper issue and he has to look deep too here and uh, she is missing information so um, and has to go within to find this information the root issue is very clear <clears throat> somebody uh, felt they weren't going to get their own way this is somebody who really feels like they, they need to be in control uh, because they've been very hurt before and they, they are very uncomfortable when they don't have this control. And so um, this can be a realization that this person is going to have like an awakening for this person. Um, this person uh is very very attracted to you and they're very worried about uh whether or not they can heal this relationship or heal uh heal w what's happened between you and be able to get you back you know that's what they want here it's at the heart of the reading they're worried about whether or not they can get you back um they still want this cup they still love you they still want to drink from this cup they turned you down right but they still want this cup because they still love you at the root you know so um i feel like this person uh has some trust issues they've been carrying some emotional baggage and this is um uh, and and i feel like on the surface maybe because of the mushrooms on the surface it may look like they're not as injured as you right now but i feel like all this happened because of an old injury that they were carrying around in that little pouch there okay on their uh here we have here so that's the connection i'm feeling here between these two cards because one person looks at the other and they've got uh their head is wounded so uh maybe this person has said or done something that has hurt them and they're looking back at this other person at all they don't look hurt at all by by what just happened but they are they are hurting they're just very good at hiding it um i feel like they're hurting very deeply okay because he's very good at hiding his feelings and currently right now he is hiding his feelings this king he's hiding his feelings because what he really wants there it is again there he is the king of cups look he's looking at the, this is what he wants he wants to close the distance you see this person's taking a step towards the other but the other's not moving okay that's maybe what he's very worried about that he'll take this action take this step towards them but he might be rejected why because he's got a victim's mindset that's why and but he really really desires this empress okay that he you are the one and he desires this new beginning with you and so uh he wants this you know he wants this cup he that's what he wants and the decision is uh, uh he has to make this decision uh to uh, come back and fight for this relationship and uh he's hoping that the right words will save the day so he's really thinking you see that brings us right back to this letter and this letter is something that is well thought out sent with intention well the intention is to try to win this person back and it's well thought out because they're really thinking they're really hoping that the right words can save the day for them yeah and so um they've been this has been very slow paced it's taken them maybe some time 
possibly to look at what the real root issue was because uh, the king, uh, the king, the emperor has his back to the mushrooms. Okay, but a deeper look with this page who now faces them um, sees. Okay, so he, he's able to look deeper. Now, and then we have her. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. So then we have her, uh, and she is inspiration uh, in this deck, this Queen of Wands. When you get her, uh, you this person here uh, can come up with a new idea with regards to their situation and how to fix it, how to get out of it. You know, so it's a sudden uh, it's a sudden idea that will inspire this person. Uh, uh, it shows them the way. It's like a new way, something they 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 didn't see before. Look at that with the book, something they didn't see before some information it's now it's like they suddenly see it and you know she's about using the intuition so um it's like a light bulb moment okay and it shows them the way there's the fool allows them here to follow their heart to take that leap of faith you know and to make that move to go for it that's the idea that they're studying. Look, she's studying the coin. Look what the next card is. Ace of coins. <laughs> so there you go. New beginning. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.